What a game. Good lord, what a game. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy, Holy shit. shit, what a game. <laughs> <laughs> Ateneo wins game one of the finals. Well, you have to say it controversially yep. against the UST Tigers. What went wrong for UST? How did they lose that halftime lead? So, uh, I think it's it started in the third quarter when Ateneo started Ryan Buenafe. Instead of opening Somalino, he now had another offensive threat that UST Heart had to guard. So suddenly, like from all from all positions. Pwedeng sumurang Ateneo and that's exactly what they did when they went on that 17-0 run. Okay. On the flip side, they built a 10-point lead <coughs> and they lost it in the 4th quarter. Mm-hmm. Nakadunk pa nga si Karim Abdul. Yeah. Two, Semi-dunk. 200. Yeah. Top ring. Na lumamang pa ng isa yung USD. Right. What did Ateneo do wrong in that stretch? Uh, they had to start subbing people out because uh, Greg got into foul trouble and then yeah. Kiefer started accumulating fouls and then later in the game he had to be subbed out. Uh, I mean, let's also give credit to the US team. They're a good team. They're the comeback Tigers, blah, 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 and all that. So it would have been uh, a disservice to them if we expected, oh, they were, they were down by a lot, so they're going to grow the over. Actually, it's the third quarter, it's the third quarter. Like, like three tao nung nag ano nag three fall si uh, nag four fall si Karim Abdul sabi ko okay wala na si you game two. I saw, I remember that yeah. Uh, even yeah, eventually mali. eventually pero kala ko talaga wala na. I didn't expect them to come back kasi malaking kawalan yun sa kita. Eh. But anyway. Pass ka. Tama. Dun sa dulo ng stretch naging factor na naman si Ryan Buenafe. Pero yun inaasahan nung maraming atinista. Nagulat ka ba dun sa dalawang tinira ni Wami Chongkul? Uh, si Wami pag crucial, ay gagawa niya siya ng parang kung anong kailangan talaga ng team. Whether it, it's um, good passes or the best on the defensive side. Well, in that time, nakita nila lang na kaya niyang umatake. And uh, alam niyo, he just capitalized on what the situation was. He was being guarded by Clark Bautista. Yeah. So that's a mismatch because Clark is a pure shooter. Yeah. He's not a defender. So I don't blame him. He saw Indeed, Bautista. I probably wide than, Yeah, okay. I think that. Well, let's talk about the players someone who did well for UST. You have Aljun Madan. Mm-hmm. You have uh, Dang. Mm-hmm. And then you have... Tapos yung missing <laughs> factor. <laughs> yung, yung missing factor sa kanila was Abdul. Karim Abdul and Kevin Ferrer. Mm-hmm. How, how big was yung pagka foul trouble ng dalawa how how did it affect you what made it bigger was the fact that uh, Melo Afwang was out with them mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so their rotation got short yeah. and uh, they had to play so, like Paolo Pe who's not a scorer and he's much smaller than Greg Slaughter yeah so by do by because of that uh, they had to play more minutes they got into foul trouble and come the fourth quarter stretch they were out of rhythm they didn't produce and that's really the problem. Uh, USD has a bunch of guys that they can really rely on to score. If you take two of those away, it's such a huge problem for them. And that's what happened. USD did two, well, out of the box things in this game. One, they went zone. Second, full court press. How would you judge those parang adjustments ni Coach Pido going into game one? Nasa simula ng game, lal na sa first quarter, you could see it bothered Ateneo. Nah, they, uh, USD got a lot of fast break points off of their defense. Uh, and I think towards the end of the game, they weren't able to sustain that defensive intensity. Whereas, for example, Ateneo, na todo pressure talaga sa perimeter. Na if you think about it, even Clark Bautista ended up with zero points in the game. And you know, he's your main bench guy. You can't have him not score three pointers. Tapos ilan lang ba yung tres na na shoot nila? That's pretty pretty low yeah, for, for USD. USD. So, parang while it was okay, a good experiment, nakapag adjust rin si Norman Black, uh, you know, lalo na sa session na. Oh, what I think USD did well is they came out with more energy than Ateneo nung start. Nakikita mo na nakawan si uh, Elorde, backcourt, na nakawan si Chongson din. Mm-hmm. And then, what Ateneo did wrong was they turned the ball over too much in the yeah. first first half of that game. Kita mo yung turnovers na were Largely unforced. It was it was Salva dribbling off his foot. It was Salva passing to a cutting Kiefer Ravenna. Yung mga ganong 
ano yung adjustments sa pwede pang gawin ng Ateneo to eliminate uh, eliminate those kind of mental errors? Do you think they were nervous? Do you think kasi dapat sila yung non-nervous team in this in this match? Well, I think they came out as Joe said, they came out flat and that sort of builds up from then like, oh no, we're in a hole all of a sudden and they still have to start changing their mindset now. Now we're catching up. Or why are we catching up? We're the guys with the experience. So it's just a little nagging thing. I bet like during the halftime, Coach Norman like yelled at them, the guys calm down, we've got this, we're the we do have the experience, so let's leap, let's build on those uh, moments from past championships and it worked out. Jen, forecast. Will um, uh, will USD bounce back or or will Ateneo win its fifth championship? Oh I think day? it's gonna be over on Thursday, pero magandang laban. Alam mo yun, like both teams whether they're, they're down, para for sure, kunari, sa, sa start ng game or sa gitna man ng game, down sila. For sure, at some point, babalik sila. Mm-hmm. Walang game na hindi sila babalik or hindi na nila kaya dumitip or whatever. So, both teams parehas kasi sila na they'll just stay there within reach or within striking distance and then when the right opportunity comes, ganun. So, for Ateneo, first half, dyan lang sila, dikit, okay, sige, mga 10 points, and then, just pagdating ng third, kinuha nila. Yung UST rin, same. Parang hindi naman sila nagpanik, hindi sila nataranta, relax lang sila. Alam nilang kasi babalik sila. So, pagdating ng end game, parehas na sila. It's really match. So, we were in for a tremendous game one. And yeah. I guess we all should just expect another good game come this Thursday. Correct. Correct? 